Signals, paths, ways. A trail in the sand, where does it come from? Where does it lead to? Toxicologists are tracking traces. Scientists within the Surat One Research Initiative want to replace animal testing. People prefer to work now on material from human beings, so cells acquired from yeah, a human being, also for the establishment of in vitro systems. Cells instead of animals, in vitro instead of in vivo. Cells are passing signals along lines that can be conceived as pathways. Toxicologists made use of that fact and developed a new concept, toxicity pathways. It is for the first time uh, that we now use, let's say, a kind of a framework that is globally accepted. It's um, a way, a way that has been approved upon, how to represent a toxicological effect or toxicological mechanism in different information blocks. Toxicity pathways are organized in streams of information which constitute a chain of events at the end of which organs become damaged. As toxicologists link these patterns with organ failure, Surat One scientists deal not only with cells but also with organs. One of the central focal points in this context is the liver. See, the liver is the gatekeeper of the human body. It is our industrial center. It makes sure that the sugar level, protein level, fat level, and amino acid level, toxin level, are all regulated within our circulation. It is vital to understand the interactions between different types of cells within the liver. Surat One scientists have achieved a breakthrough in the field of in vitro testing. We are focused on developing a liver on a chip, a bioreactor mimicking human physiology, essentially the function and cells and interactions that actually occur in the human liver. This mounting contains the liver on a chip. When adding a chemical, different sensors monitor the cell changes in real time. This process opens new perspectives for testing chemicals. Our hope and goal that using this liver on a chip device, we can have a much higher level of uh, predictability because we have human cells and human genetics outside of the body in a highly controlled fashion. And we can screen the compounds with a high level of uh, prediction to ensure safety of chemicals use. Finally, the effect of chemicals on the organism as a whole has to be tracked. This is enabled by computer models, through which we can predict how a particular chemical substance will be distributed within the body and which organs will be harmed in the process. You can really build up a human within uh, uh, your computer and this computer can simulate what's really happening to the chemical within the body. It really helps to have a kind of human surrogate. And so you don't need to have any more animal testing and uh, uh, you uh, are creating a, a new tool uh, to assess uh, safety exposure levels for the humans. It's still a long way to go until animal testing will be completely replaced in chemical safety assessment. The first steps, however, have been made and the pathway concept looks promising.